Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I will be showing you how to fix a USB drive that has been fragmented into separate partitions. Now I'll show you exactly what this means, so let me just put in the USB. So as you can see, it shows up drive H and then it's asking me to format it and then it says not accessible. And drive F and the same thing drive G. So this is what keeps on happening with my USB and you'll see three USB drives, maybe more, pop up. This is actually not the case. I only have one USB drive plugged in. So I'll show you guys how to fix that. You want to go to your search and search a command prompt. Run it as administrator. Click yes. And then you're going to want to type in disk part. Enter. And then wait a couple seconds. After that, type in list disk. Enter. As you can see, my disk 1 is what the problem is. What you want to do is type in this, select disk, and then whatever that disk is that you need to fix, minus 1, and click enter. And now the 1 is the selected disk. Now what you want to do is type in clean, enter, and it'll clean it. Now as you can see, this comes up and it uh, puts it all back into 1 one USB so it's not fragmented anymore. And then what you want to do is type in create partition primary and then click enter. Now what you want to do is you're going to need to format it. So format fs so format space fs equals FAT 32 and then space quick then click enter and then wait for it to format as you can see the megabytes is still uh, less than what I stated um, now what you want to do is just type in active and then type in assign which will assign a letter to it. So there you go. Now it opens up. Now what you want to just do is click clear and then this will come back up. All this will come up. Then you want to click on the X and now you have this to deal with. Uh, so now you can actually go into that USB drive and what you want to do now is right click on that USB drive, click on format and then Click on restore device defaults. You need to put it to your default settings and then make sure quick formats checked. Click start, click OK, click yes. Now click OK. As you can see, it's back to the 125, but now it is a usable USB drive. But that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully it worked for you guys. If it didn't, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.